New day, new toys. So I have my weird Chinese brand digital ultrasonic cleaner. So I threw some uh, Dawn dish detergent in there with some water and I am running through my list of things that need cleaning. Not sure how these are gonna go because they had had foam at the bottom. I'm gonna try and pull it off first and then replace it later, but we'll see how that goes. Then it's time to continue with the transmission. So I'm gonna be removing the starter, I believe, as step 12. I don't know what I said I was gonna do first last night, but I rewatched uh, Seabass's video and he does the starter next, so that's what I'm gonna do. Starter is out. Big dangly wire is still there. I might take that off, I might not. There is a bolt. Uh, where? There. And then you have to go down underneath and there's a bolt on the bottom side of this as well. So this sits up in there like that. So there's one at the top and one at the bottom. And then this all pulls out. You got to take off these wires as well. Um, sorry, the other one is attached to the other end of that. It's there it is. You got to take those off and then pull the the starter out. Next, I believe is gonna be axles. Cause I think I've been wrong about this whole thing. I thought I was gonna do more bolts, and nuts, but in the video, I see people doing axles next. So, um, but I don't know, let's, uh, let's see if I can figure out how to take an axle off. I know I have to punch this out and then get it off. I don't know if it holds or if it spins freely or if I'll have to like put a screwdriver in there and in the rotor and try and stop it or yeah I don't know so we'll see. The first axle nut is off and these things are a pain in the butt and they're scary because man if you don't get that thing popped all the way back out it'll destroy your threads I don't know I don't like it I don't like it at all I hate it I hate everything about it but I did get where did I put them well crap now I don't know where I put them I got new axle nuts there they are ah, don't fall I got, <laughs> man, my balance is just, just graceful over here. I got new axle nuts, so this will go on in replacement of the old one. That way I don't have to worry about that. I know you can reuse them, but it was like seven bucks, so I, I can afford that. Got the lower two bolts from the strut off. I got the brake caliper off and hung up here by the bolt. Just put the little, one of the bolts back through the hole just enough to hang it off the coil. Got the ABS sensor tucked up here as well, nice and safe. And I have the, uh, the axle is loose, sliding forward and backwards in here. So what I need to do now is go get a crowbar and put it in there and get it to pop this way towards me. And then get it to pop out. So hopefully we'll get one axle out. And then I'll put these bolts back in and kind of tie everything back in place-ish, except for the bolts that are disgustingly rusty and need cleaned. Those will get cleaned or replaced. So, let's go. Yay, cheers, applause. Oh. Hey, cheers, applause. Yay! Forced, forced laughter, ooh, I love it. Now it's like a sitcom. Um, so, got the axle out. I found that using a crowbar and going in through the sway bar link here into behind where the axle like kind of housing is on the end of it and then smacking it that way as I yoinked out on the axle is what worked for me. I don't know what works for you guys, but that's what worked for me. So I'm gonna put these bolts back in. I'm gonna rehang the caliper, put this stuff all back uh, the way I found it, ish. 
and then I'm going to move on to the next thing. All right. So the next bracket I have to take off is this one here. There is a screw up top there, right there, and there's another screw right there. Once I get those off, I will be able to pull this axle out of back there where it is attached to the engine. And then once I get that out, I'm one step closer to getting this thing dropped. So I think this is like step 14 or something. So yeah. Well, the idea so far is to use this motorcycle jack that my dad's got to try and support the transmission as I detach the rest of it. The last few things I need to do are finish taking off the rest of the front motor mount, get an extension in to take off the rear motor mount, finish taking off this motor mount, and then take off the bolts on the bell housing around. And then it should separate. So I'm gonna try and do that. I think that's like step, I don't know, 14 or 15 or combined number of steps. So I'm gonna get doing that and uh, yeah, hopefully there'll be a transmission out soon. In, you know, one day. Not bad for my first time and being anxious as hell and not knowing what I'm doing, so hey, all right. All right, motor mounts are out. Uh, this one is the top motor mount over on the driver's side. This one is the front motor mount, which this sits upside down like that on the uh, casing. And then this attaches and it all sits like a that. And then I have removed the, what does that say? Something bell housing, rear. rear, rear bell housing long bolts and the lower bell housing short bolts, which I will not confuse, bag and tag. Then I've got the last two bolts. Let me turn the flash on. Got the last two bolts down here. Take those out and it should drop down onto this lovely little motorcycle uh, lift we have, jack we have that is does not seem to be holding pressure right now, but you know what? It's holding enough. And then we're gonna hold the motor up with that one just in case. I don't think there'll be any issues, but you know, just in case. Let's do it. So I asked mom to video this in case the trans drops right away, but I said in case something happens and she goes, to you? <laughs> it's so nice. All right, so it's running right now. Just video. We're gonna take this last bolt out. We've got all the other bolts and accoutrement out of the way. So this last uh, 17 mil at the top of the engine is our last thing that we gotta do. And then, it should, oops, hold on a second here. This is annoying and in the way. Bloop. And then the last thing we gotta do would be to lower the transmission down. Um, I don't know if it's gonna take any separating or, or persuasion or whatever else, but uh, I guess I'm gonna find out. Did I stop it? No. Sorry. Let's keep it going. Let's see what happens. It doesn't look like anything. We have the engine supported really well, and we've got the trans supported with this motorcycle lift. So, yeah. Can you turn the flash off on that? A little yellow thing. Yeah, there we go. And then shine it, show in here where my hand is. Yerp. So this is it, the last bolt and then I don't know what I'm expecting an explosion a, a hooray the like halo sound from grunt birthday party when you turn the skull on good old halo three days there we go last bolt so theoretically does that mean it's free floating now um so what now <laughs> <laughs> We've taken everything apart, now what? It didn't come apart. 
You should check to see if everything, all the votes are indeed out. They are all out. I've double checked all of them. The only ones uh, I'm not sure is the rear motor mount, but there's not really like, there's nothing I can do other than get that one bolt out from there. So. That's a lot of leaves. So currently in there is my car with the transmission all the way off except for one bracket, the rear motor mount that's holding it on. But it's raining like a lot and it's gross out. So I don't wanna run over there yet. But when I do, we're gonna get that out and then we're gonna put it in the Subaru and drive it to Michigan. All right, guys, I don't know why the hyperlapse stopped filming at some point, but you missed a nice little segment of me wriggling her out like a messed up shaved headed caterpillar from in between the jack and the <laughs> jack stand after getting the final uh, motor mount removed. I ended up going underneath and removing. Can you grab that last motor mount? The one with the two legs? This one. Yeah. I ended up going underneath and removing this from the bottom. There's a bolt that goes in here, a nut that goes there, and then two nuts that go here in holes. And removing this by lifting up the engine and the transmission, that allowed me to get the transmission actually fully separated because I couldn't get this bracket off. There's another, hold on, let me turn the flash on so you guys can see. Da -ding. There is another bolt down there at the bottom end of this bracket. I don't know if you can see that and I couldn't get that off. I could get the two bolts in here off, the one below that flange and the one right there, but I couldn't get the third one off. So to actually get the transmission to move this way and down and out, I had to go underneath and remove the bolts from underneath that motor mount and pull that motor mount up from over top of the steering rack. Which, I mean, I suppose is good because I'm changing the steering rack bushings too, but there is... My clutch. All right. So, um, now we're going to lower the transmission out. Dad's going to film while I do it. And then uh, we're going to put it back in the Subaru and uh, drive it over to Monkey Wrench Racing. What do you want me to do? Don't press any switches, just <laughs> video. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just hold gotta, it. Gotta break it down to his level. <laughs> I can do this. Rude. <laughs> what a horrible son. Okay. You notice I didn't comment on it. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm very, very proud of you. <laughs> you, you held your, uh, your smack talking. All right. So, come, come on over here. Take what, a look in. What are we looking at? Yeah. So I've got it separated. I've got it sitting on this motorcycle jack. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to lower this away. And then I'm going to try and roll it out that way underneath this uh, fender well that I've cleared out here. So, ta -da! let's see how she goes. After claiming he could, in fact, video, dad accidentally uh, stopped the video right before I pulled the transmission out from under the car. But no worries, we got the transmission out. All I ended up having to do was lower it here and then bring it out this uh, side underneath this. The motorcycle jack made that really nice with the little tire thing on the other side there to support it. And now we're gonna wire brush it off and email Monkey Wrench and then we're gonna drive it up there and chuck it through their front door. Okay, maybe more nicely than that, but you get the idea.